Hey fire signs and welcome back to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. For those of you guys who are new to the channel then welcome Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel Aquarian Empress Tarot. So glad to have you here. Welcome back to my returning subscribers. You guys already know the drill. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Please keep in mind that it will not resonate with every single fire sign. It will not, okay? So check your natal chart whether you have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius placements. So let's go ahead and hop right into the reading and see what messages Spirit has for you guys. We're going to do this a little bit different this month. We're going to start out with the finances and career aspect for you guys, what you can expect, what maybe advice Spirit has for you in regards to those of you who are applying for employment or just seeking a better career opportunity or your current career situation seems a little bit shady or shaky. And you're just needing some guidance moving forward. So let's start with that. All right. Let's hop right in. Ooh. Guys. I got too much. Too many decks on my desk. I mean, I can never have too many decks. But I have too many on my desk at this current moment. All right. Ooh. All right. So Spirit gave me a couple things. Spirit gave me a couple things. Let me go more We'll see advice for the collective in regards to finances and career. The fire signs. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. What advice do you have for them in regards to finances and career? Okay. All right. So, you guys, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. So, here are the messages that Spirit gave. For you guys in regards to finances and career for september first message we have legal field so some of you may be considering that um going into the legal field like as an attorney um working in a law firm or an administrative paralegal anything like that spirit says for some of you guys that's not for everyone like i said it won't resonate with everyone the second one is takes money to make money, okay? Which makes a lot of sense because if you run a business, you're gonna have to invest some of the money that you already have before you can even start that business to get everything set up and legit, you know? You can't be afraid to spend some money in order to get a return. You see what I'm saying? Willing to take the chance to spend a little to make a lot. So you spend a little, but you can make a lot from whatever it is that you invest in, but you have to be willing to make the investment if you want the return. All right. Um, and that could be, you know, going to school, taking additional courses, getting certified, completing like if you started college credits or you started going to nursing school or um, doing prerequisites, going and finishing that job or finishing that course so that you can get the job that you're trying that you are trying to obtain so that you can you know be in a better financial bracket, financial situation. We have structured plan. Conquer your goals, okay? Here's the saying for you guys this month. If you fail to plan, then you plan to fail, fire signs. You have got to come up with a plan if you desire to get out of debt, if you desire to be able to move ahead and, you be, and to have some money set aside for the things that you desire. You have got to have a plan. How are you utilizing your current finances? What are you wasting money on? Where can you save money? What are some unnecessary spending habits that you have? Those are things to ask yourself for the month of September going into October. All right. All right, Spirit. What about their spiritual journey? What messages do you have for my fire signs, Spirit? So let's get some messages from the ancestors. All right. And see what... What you guys need to know as far as your spiritual journey is concerned. All right, Spirit Universe, what messages do you have for the, for the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius in regards to their spiritual journey? Also, you guys, we are in a new moon. So whatever manifestations you are trying to do, now is a good time to set your intentions, write it out, 
um, all of the things that you want to, to manifest this month. All right, what's the message for it? For Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. We have Shaman. Trust in higher forces. Trust in your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, fire signs. Know that you're being divinely guided. Know that you are divinely protected. We have the sun. <coughs> Excuse me. Enjoy success and happiness. I love this card because it is just so bright. Enjoy success and happiness. All the fruits of your labor is going to pay off this month. So if you've been working really hard, working long hours, studying, putting in the time, the grind, the work, um, doing your nine to five, all of that, it's, um, it's about to come to fruition, you know? I'm hearing that old song. She works hard for the money. So hard for it, honey. <laughs> she works hard for the money, so you better treat her right. Yeah, so fire signs. Y'all working hard out here. And it's going to pay off. It is going to pay off. So you guys may be saving up money to go on a vacation or whatever the case may be. But Spirit wants you to know that you're, you're on the right path. All right. Okay. So, what was I looking for? The guidebook. What did I do with the guidebook? Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. All right, so we have Shaman. For those of you guys who don't really care to hear the Oracle messages, you can just fast forward on to the portion of tarot. Because I know some people like skip through. Trust in your angels, guides, and ancestors. If you have given your power away, claim it back. Spirit says, there are spiritual allies working in your favor, and their miracles will unfold much more easily when you move into a state of trust. So call back your power and stop allowing external forces to divert you from the miracles you deserve. Hand over all of your concerns to your spiritual allies. Give it to God, okay? Pray about it, you know, ask for guidance, ask for clarity moving forward. When you do so, you allow them to send your intuitive guidance and messages that will allow you to correct the situation and come out on top. The shaman card also shows that you have shamanic potential to move between the realms and connect with your guides in an extremely personal way. Let's go to the sun. You know that saying, let go and let God fire signs? That's what spirit is calling you to do. He's the one in control. Almighty Heavenly Father, however you identify, because depending on what your religious practices are, beliefs are, you may not refer to the creator as God. But however you identify, you know, spirit is saying, trust, trust in the creator, trust in your, your guardian angels, trust in the ones that are there in the spiritual realm to help move you along that they're moving you along. Know that doors are opening for you. Follow up new projects, ventures, and ideas. Connect with the inner fire that is driving you forward. So fitting for y'all fire signs. I love it. The sun has long been associated with the energy of success. It's the most powerful planet in the solar system. So, of course, when the sun card appears in a reading, it will bring power, success, and light. It brightens up all connections, banishes darkness, brings a sense of youthfulness, and invites you to connect to the energy of joy so that you can be light in spirit and heart. All right. So it says opportunities to feel and be successful are swirling around you. Relationships and friendships progress with joy and you will feel happy and uplifted. Um, the energy of expansion is with you at this time. You're being offered the perfect opportunity to move Four, if you want to bring something to life or ready to take a new step, the sun will bring the right energy to you. And so if you're asking a question about it, the answer is yes. All right. The answer is yes, you guys. So, yay. Right. Yay. All right. So let's tap in and see what messages Spirit has for you guys from the tarot. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for my fire signs in regards to whatever is going on in their current situation? What messages do you have for them? Oops. All 
I'm sorry, y'all. Rika was making noise. Temperance. Temperance is balance. Temperance is uh, the yin and the yang. Also, temperance is about divine timing when the time is right. For some of you guys, you may you may feel like now, right now in this season, in this month is the time to do something, to do certain things, whether that's move forward in your relationship or start a new job or relocate or make plans to sell the house, whatever the case is. Some of you guys are really, I feel like it's like wrapping up old things and getting ready for new. Y'all, why do I have these in here? Wrong day. Okay, here we go. The temperance is Sagittarian energy. So specifically, if you're a Sagittarius, this may resonate well with you, Sagittarius. Some of you guys are realizing that now is the time. Now is the time. I had death on the bottom of the deck. So that tells me a lot of you guys are going through a transformation. You guys are planning on making changes or someone that you're dealing with may be about to make some changes. We have King of Cups energy. Um, the King of Cups, he's very affectionate, loving, supportive. So for some of you guys, you, you may have been waiting for your person to open up on an emotional level. Spirit is saying this person is going to open up with you and express more emotion, be more supportive, show more love. Especially if you if you're a divine feminine watching the video and your divine masculine is like the very the type of person that doesn't typically show a lot of emotion, he's gonna start. All right. Knight of Cups. Yeah, thank you, Spirit, for confirmation. Yeah, he has romantic feelings towards you, and he's actually going to start expressing that. Queen of Cups. So some of you are in your Queen of Cups energy. Some of you guys are really pouring into yourselves, fire signs, or need to. This is a message for some of you divine feminines who forgotten your worth, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Some of you guys need to take better care of your health, making sure that you're eating properly, making sure you're getting enough sleep, my loves. Don't deprive yourself because you're so consumed with taking care of all of everybody else. Make sure that your needs are prioritized as well. That's what spirit wants you to know. Also know that if someone is coming towards you, fire signs, because y'all tend to be stubborn as hell too, especially Leo. I mean, yes, I'm following on y'all tonight. If somebody is coming towards you, a king of cups is coming to offer knight of cups romantic feelings. He's coming to express this to you. Be receptive. Don't give him trouble. Be receptive. Of course, keep an open mind and feel free to keep your options open because we do have the seven of cups. But if you've been praying for and man, trying to manifest a new start with someone, be receptive. Don't fight the love. Don't fight the feeling, Leo. Let's see. Also, Spirit wants you to know whoever this is coming towards you is a king of pentacles. This person is actually in an energy to give you what you've been asking for. You've been asking for someone who's stable. You've been asking for someone who is um, you know, very fatherly, father figure like this is Capricorn towards energy. Um, this person is a responsible person, you know, this person is daddy. I mean, <laughs> for like lack of better words, sorry, this is Knight of Pentacles, you guys. Even still with the Knight of Pentacles, he's the hardest working knight in the deck. So this person actually wants to offer you something solid. Now the time is to ask yourself, are you ready to move forward? Page of Wands is all about new starts, exciting plans, and moving forward. Let's see. Oops. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah. Some of you got you guys have been sabotaging your own connections, fire signs, because you're you've been emotionally unavailable for some of you guys. Some of you guys have been like, I feel like you've been hurt in the past, so it affects your current relationships, and you just have a hard time trusting people or opening up. But fire signs. Aries. Leo and Sagittarius, you have got to be willing to open up, okay? Yeah, Eight of Swords, yeah, because you've been stuck mentally. You've been stuck in your own mental and emotional prison. It's, Spirit is calling for you to put those walls down, fire signs, so that you can receive the love that you desire. Spirit wants you to know that you deserve this love. This person was coming towards you. This is really beautiful energy, fire signs. King of Cups, Knight of Cups. 
beautiful energy. And they see you as a queen of cups, which means they see you as a divine counterpart energy. Page of Pentacles. For some of you guys, this is a new person. This is a new start or it's someone that you share history with, but this person is coming back to you in a new energy. Take the messages as they resonate. Um, the moon tells me that you guys may be... <laughs> You guys may be feeling a little suspicious about this person because of what has happened in the past, but you've got to let it go. If you're holding a grudge against someone and you're still doubting and having fears in your mind, you're going to have to let that go in order for things to work. So if you, if you still have suspicions about them, Spirit says, pay attention to actions, not words, not a sword. Thank you for confirmation, Spirit. The Knight of Swords is all about action. What are they showing you? They can talk a good talk, but can they walk a good walk? That's the question to ask yourselves, fire signs. So that is what it is. That has been your September monthly reading. Please feel free to book an in-depth personal reading. If this reading resonates for you and you feel like you want to go a little bit more in-depth to find out what's going on, who's coming towards you, what offers may be made to you during the month of September, feel free to go into my website, fire signs. AquariumEmpressTarot.net and book an in-depth reading there. I have extended my Labor Day, um, the Labor Day weekend sale. So go on there. It's posted in the community tab as well. So until next time, love you guys.